Hello everyone, it's 20 Italians, and here we are again for another episode of Tales of the Dwarves using the Fantasy Mod created by Jordan Does CK2 in Crusader Kings 2. So, lately we've been getting our teeth kicked in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to... I don't know of any other way of winning this. We've just been getting pushed back. Right now we, we are just maintaining ourselves as Finland. Um, Sweden got all organized on us during this war and and now we got issues. So... So... I know people don't like it when I do this, but I'm thinking of just um, <clears throat> just letting them have it. I mean, there's, there is. I need, I need my men to to recuperate here. I think that's all. Uh, good for nothing, nobody, eh? Yeah, I'm cynical. Um, oh, that's Norwegian. This is all Finnish land. So Sweden got all organized. Surprised that I, oh, they, that's right, they just finished attacking the den. And I need Estonia and Livonia to be considered all part of the, the kingdom of Finland here, so I have my true Finnish holdings. And if you remember, um, our main goal here is to um, our main goal here is to create um, take over all of Scandinavia in the dwarven name, my dwarven name. For that, I need money. I need men, but with the the dwarven mine I also get I get iron dwarves and I get money so uh, let's make sure we're not raising up any men here there we go I don't need that yeah, this is all Sumanusco what we really need is Kazaria to fall apart, but those that Jewish king that Jewish Empire is not falling apart anytime soon. Vasta Burton. I have a weak claim on this, huh? These allies are Mashera. Mashera's got their own problems. I don't think I have enough of a fighting force, though. 1250. No, I mean, I do. I've inherited the barony of Tikvin. No, we're going to sell that. I mean, so I could press it in war. Karhala. Uh, oh, good. Well. Or a Dia can, can deal with them himself. So I wanted to remind everyone as we, we get started here that uh, that's not getting me anything um, that I am away on business this week and um, so uh, we're going to have two episodes of Tales of the Dwarves and then we're going to do all sorts of random, random videos for the rest of the week and the reason for that is I just so I didn't get burnt out 
um, creating five Tales of the Dwarves videos in two nights, that would have been a bit much. So I wanted to spice it up to show you guys what else I like to play. Um, so that's what I did. There we go, yeah. Satakunta. Yeah, improving diplomatic relations. See my heir? No, my heir is my son. Okay. And in the rust, it is my son. Okay. So I can't have another son. That's where things get screwy. Uh, no. Will you stop attacking Kazaria? It's, it's not gonna work. Who's he imprisoned by? Nalka the Cruel. Yeah, he hates me. Um... Nah, I don't need a eunuch. See, what is with this? Why can I only hire one band? Are they just dying off? Is that what's happening? I don't understand why this... These, these mercenary bands are not replenishing. At least I'm going to be able to replenish for once. That's good. I'm fighting any wars, just, and I raised levy somehow. So I could adopt feudalism now. I have a stone hill fort. Slow, and I could create duchies, which would no longer get away. Would it? I don't think it changed Gal. Maybe it would change. Excuse me. Maybe would change inheritance laws. Um, let's build up this. Uh, Build up the market town there. The market, uh, call it she Chief Root Trius of Finnmark, my wife. <gasps> they must be exposed. In prison, my wife. In prison. You sons of. How could you? Well. I guess that solves me having another son problem, doesn't it? Is this my land? It is my land, too. Yeah. Yay! What else is my land? Is this all my land, too? It is. Um, I don't know if I need any of that. Ladoga? Yeah, they seem to attack Ladoga a lot. Oh, Moscow needs to be upgraded. What the mine needs to be upgraded? Wow, I didn't realize that was that low. Toro Pets. Yes, Toro Pets was looted. We all know that. Thank you. Let's not drudge that up from the past. Alright, so after this round of upgrades 
I think I'll go feudal then. Um, no, that's not my land. We are almost back to full strength for once. Well, until all these, until all these um, hill forts and training grounds are completed. I'm gonna be a formidable foe. All right, my son. How old is my son? He's four. Daddy, why do you think mommy around anymore? Shut your mouth. Drink some ale, son. Feel better. What does she have? Lover's pox and adulteress. Yes. She was the child of a concubine, however. No factions. Oh, my two prisoners there. Um, no one will care. And then my nephew will inherit. Oh. Finland is attacking, so my uncles are attacking each other. Or, I, I forget who this is. This is not my uncle. It's just my kinsman now. It's like my uncle's getting restless. He actually managed to besiege a lot. Is this all him? Oh, good for, good for us. So I can now turn around... Nah. Build it up. Don't need to attack. Build it up. So I could kill... How old is my nephew? Seven. I think I am going to do that. Boom. Does he hate me? No, he doesn't hate me. Oh, that's that's a stroke of genius there. I keep my wife in prison. I won't get anyone else pregnant. It'll all go to my son. This will be all yours, son. But the drapes. There you go. Getting stone hill forts set up. Beautiful. My sister, she became a politician. Betrothed is the Duke of Piskov. Oh, excellent. That is what I needed to hear. Now, Pohanma. Alright, so he is feudal. He is in a castle, looking down his nose probably at us. Claims a better court chaplain than Kagalag and petitions that she be given the title of court chaplain. Hezekiah Hezekiah 29 Hey, sorry bro. Alright, we need cola changed over here. I don't know what the religious tensions are like. No, it's not going to be elective gavel kind. See, I don't know if this is a dwarven thing or not. I'm sure Jordan would know. Yeah, I'm going to hire up these mercenaries as they become available because clearly this game's got an issue with, with spawning mercs. What am I earning now? 21. Um, this doesn't... Hmm. Guess I could have gone for the mine too. Alright. Ship 
builder. Does Bahanma have a ship builder? They do. Okay, good. Taking a while to regain my levies here. Yeah, so the reason I let Smolensk go a couple episodes back is, is because of this reason right here. They're actually part of the Kingdom of Ruthenia. They were a forced, forced territory of mine down here in Russia. Ryazin, yeah. So if I wanted to form the Kingdom of Ruthenia, I'd need to get a whole lot of territory here. That's Lithuanian, that's Lithuanian. So they are fighting Oh. A matrilineal marriage. to Brokud. Oh, what are the Livonians doing? Oh, well, I'm... No, they can't handle them? Well, I don't want to trot my guy out there. <clears throat> All right. My son is ill. Who is going to... No, not the crazy man. Queen Mother? I think the Queen Mother... No. Ordiac is chased. I don't need my son being chased. He's chased too. What the hell? She's Kazar. She's not even a dwarf. I do not have... I mean, really, Fosgrade is the best here. I don't have a lot of good dwarves. Snowmaster. That's a great name. Great surname. The Snowmaster. I have a new heir. Alphonomer Rurikid. Who the hell's that? Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Why don't I... Alright. We've adopted feudalism. Now we have cities. Should I have to dole out? All right, so it made it made a temple if there was none. We have settled down. Well, we have. I expect my subjects to follow here shortly. Hmm, not every place had it. Interesting. Oh, Kola can't even... I have to move this from Kola. Should I move it to Pahanma? Oh, they're settling the tribe there. I think we'll worry about that next time. I know this is a shorter one, but uh, it's just where it's going to be. Uh, we'll figure out what to do now that we are futile after all. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Tales of the Dwarves. If you like what you see, feel free to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If this is your first time, feel free to click on the red subscribe button at the end of the episode. As always, good night and good luck.